Hey friends, it's me Alyssa and I am back with Live in Local Atlanta. I'm here with my super fun friend. <laughs> I'm here with Deidre Brown Harvey. She is the Marketing and Public Relations Manager at Six Flags Over Georgia, right in our backyard in Metro Atlanta. So I'm super excited that you're here with me Thank today. You. We're talking about Holiday in the Park and we're gonna dive right into it. Mm -hmm. So Holiday in the Park is open right now for everyone to enjoy. Absolutely. What can Thrill Ride fans expect with this? Thrill Rides can expect just an enchanting experience. Obviously, we're known for our roller coasters. We are the thrill capital of the South. Um, but this happens to be the most wonderful time of the year. So in addition to those roller coasters, you get those millions of twinkling lights. Um, you get the festive atmosphere, the, the holiday shows. Um, and it's something for all the families, something for every age um, in, in the family, from, from the babies to, to grandma and grandpa. To yes, the Holly in the park. I love mm -hmm. that, and and really, we're so fortunate to live in Georgia and, and Atlanta, really, because we have the perfect weather to Absolutely. do something pretty much year round. I know, like a lot of theme parks, if they're not down south, they kind of close seasonally. Mm -hmm. And I know, I know, once we get into the cooler, mm -hmm. cooler months of the year, mm -hmm. you guys have limited hours, but you guys really keep the doors om open almost all year round to yeah. keep everyone coming in. So Absolutely. I love that. Absolutely. Um, I want to ask, you know. Uh, You've been doing this for many years now. Mm -hmm. What's 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 new? What's going on that people can expect that's different from last year? Absolutely. So we have we love to revamp always. So we are we have a brand new entertainment manager um, who I like to give kudos to. Um, he's brought about seven brand new shows that you can have. We have our 28 foot LED Christmas tree um, that has an opening ceremony each night at 6 p.m. Um, we have obviously we, we love to bring in our new foods. So our culinary man manager Eric Poppy brings and delicious foods. We have the fried donuts. We have s'mores kits that are all throughout the park for, for families to go and enjoy s'mores. So um, something something new for, for everybody to come and enjoy, yeah. I love that. I love that. Now, one of the things I love most uh, just about Six Flags in general is just the general happiness and joy you mm -hmm. all bring year round. And I mm -hmm. want to ask you, you know, what would you say, especially during this time of the year, how would you curate the perfect day at Six Flags for Holiday in the Park? What, what would you do first? This is, and and I'll, I'll say, I grew up here in Atlanta, um, and I grew up in the park. I've been a part of the park for, for many, many years, and this absolutely is my personal most favorite time of the year. Um, we open the doors at 2 o'clock. I would definitely suggest coming in at 2, getting those rides in early. Um, when you come in, get, get those rides in, and then uh, I would say about 4 or 5 o'clock, make your way towards the front, our promenade area, where we have our 20-foot grand tree that we do the lighting at 6 p.m. Um, be sure to purchase those some more kids to, to hop around and, and enjoy those s'mores and, and, and we have hot chocolate um, and, and I must say uh, now is the time you know obviously the cyber sale uh, you know the sales are going on right now we have a sale on our season passes which gets you unlimited visits for Holiday in a Park in addition to visits all next year so I would definitely start with going online sixflags.com <laughs> getting that pass um, it's a great deal so that you can have all the visits you want um, we have the North Pole which has been revamped is beautiful um, where we have Santa and, and Mrs. Claus who's doing story times and the photos that are there for the families um, and, and we encourage everybody to come out before uh, December 23rd obviously he goes away back to the North Pole goes back home so uh, yeah something yes it's something for everybody to do yeah perfect I love it I love just again how versatile Six Flags is mm -hmm. how much joy and happiness you bring all year round mm -hmm. I'm personally excited I'm excited to see mm -hmm. some of these new shows you were mentioning mm -hmm. I'd love to go into a little bit more detail about that and mm -hmm. you know if you could give us a little bit more description on some of those newer shows that you said were coming in absolutely so we have oh what fun um, which is the start that's that's the the, the first show at the very front of the park that we we have our six flex carolers that basically corral the crowd and get, every, get everybody excited for that grand lightning um, you know like I mentioned we have those thousands millions of lights throughout the park so that kind of kicks it off and then if you go back around the other uh, uh, go back towards our crystal pistol um, we have uh, several shows that are going on in there um, twinkle lights that are going on we have uh, dance shows at our da daredevil dive stage where we have many of our dancers that come out. We have our Looney Tunes meet and greets and something, an, an additional new thing. If you grew up in Atlanta, you're familiar with Monster Mansion. Yes. Uh, so we have the <laughs> Monster Mansion characters, like live Monster Mansion characters that we brought out of the Monster Mansion. So they are roaming throughout and they make appearances, uh, show appearances throughout the park. Um, so we're, that, is, that is something that everybody has been anticipating. We brought that in. We did a sneak peek during Fright Fest, but now 
we're excited to, to really add the element to to fight fest. I'm, I'm sorry to Holiday in the Park. Oh, that is so fun. I you know one of the things I just really enjoy about this time of year is the transformation mm -hmm. places go through to bring about holiday spirit. And I want to ask you, <laughs> you know, what's the hall like? What's the overhaul looking like? How many days a week oh, a gosh. month? What's the turnaround? How do you turn this place into holiday magic? Believe it or not, we start in July. Wow. Yes, we have to start in July. Like I mentioned, there's, there's a ton of lights that have to be hung. Um, and we bring in our crews. So you'll notice as you're walking through the park, many of our trees are already wrapped. Um, you'll see the streaming that are already wrapped at night. So we start that process literally in July as we're going through Fright Fest. We're working on just the behind the scenes intricates. Um, we shut down Fright Fest. Uh, and then two weeks we have literally it's sun up, sun down for 14 days straight, um, all hands on on deck getting the park really ready but yeah it's a, it's a july start date for us wow. no later yeah it's oh wow <laughs> it's that's intense. It's, that is intense now it's one intense. thing i love that you mentioned was you've been going to the park forever mm -hmm. i i'm the same way i've been going to the park for such a long time what can longtime park fans really expect this year that will entice them and bring them back and and keep them coming back over and over again. Absolutely. Um, I would definitely say uh, for those that are coming, especially if you if you are a season pass holder, the opportunity now to just get those little add-ons. Uh, we, we have a new photo package um, that, that's coming back. And then really just the, the character. So we did a huge investment in um, our live characters. Um, as everybody know, we're DC, we're DC Park, we're Looney Tunes Park, we have our Monster Mansion characters. But those are very near and dear to those home hometown uh, that that are familiar with us you know obviously we have the rides they know the rides um, but just getting those getting that one-on-one -on -one with those characters and then uh, the, the Riverview Carousel, um, that's a 100 year celebration. Um, so we have those lights that are going on, hundreds and thousands of lights that are going on at the Riverview Carousel. Um, and the food, I, I am a foodie. I love all of the, like I said, the fried donuts, the um, the cannolis, um, those things that you can kind of, that, that are really true and dear to us. Um, the funnel cakes, everybody knows us for funnel cakes. So we do a good twist on our funnel cakes at the park for the holiday season, the red velvet funnel cakes, peach, or funnel cake. So those are things that are, are really exciting and, and just fresh and new for us. Absolutely. I am a huge foodie myself. Mm -hmm. I specifically, I, I go hard for like carnival style food. So mm -hmm. I, I love going to mm -hmm. theme parks just for mm -hmm. that type of snacking and that just fried mm -hmm. delicious, like can't get it anywhere mm -hmm. else. It tastes so yep. good. You're on your feet <laughs> and you just want, just want one savory thing, but they all taste so good. Mm -hmm. So that is just so exciting. You had my mouth watering for <laughs> that. Um, I do want to go ahead and ask, you know, help people kind of get the logistics part out of the way where can they get tickets if absolutely. they haven't gotten it already how can they find out more information everything like that absolutely six flags.com so like I mentioned I, and, and I have to encourage people because this is the best deal you can get um, get your tickets I, I would suggest doing a season pass um, it's the cyber sale it technically ended yesterday but we're gonna do an extension through this Sunday so now's the best time to get your season pass um, number one is good for unlimited visits this year and then you get all of next year so we reopen as you mentioned we are open pretty much all year we, we shut down for six weeks for rehab so we shut down january 3rd and we're back open in march um and then you know we kick off with with opening and then going into spring break and then the festival so i mean the best bang for a buck is to get that go to sixflags.com get your season passes now enjoy holiday in the park and then come back and enjoy next year we're, we're opening up a brand new ride that we're super excited about we just opened a new ride a couple of weeks ago <laughs> Go, so. Perfect. Lots to offer. For oh sure. wow, that is so <laughs> fun. I love it. You did tease a little bit out into what people can expect in mm -hmm. 2024. Is there mm -hmm. anything else you can <laughs> leave us hanging on that we're like, oh man, can't wait for those warm months to come back? What what can we maybe expect in those warmer months? I will say next year we're celebrating 10 years of Hurricane Harbor. So the so obviously everybody knows us for Six Flags Whitewater, which is in Marietta, um, but we're also celebrating Hurricane Harbor, our little water park that's inside the theme park. And as I mentioned. Ultra Surf, which gives you, it's our new coaster that we're looking to open next summer, and it gives you the feel of a roller coaster mixed with a water ride. So uh, come out, enjoy. Um, we have festivals. We're bringing back brews and bites. Um, we we love. We're in the festival season. We, we are really near and dear. Our, our 
food manager loves his foods and he loves creating. So those are some, some neat things to look forward to. Perfect. I love it. Deidre, thank mm -hmm. you so much for joining me. Of course, this is Live in Local Atlanta. I'm Alyssa. Make sure you download the free Odyssey app today. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y inside the App Store to get exclusive conversations just like this one with my friend mm -hmm. Deidre. And of course, once that app is downloaded, favorite Star 94 Atlanta. Go ahead and also give Star 94 Atlanta a follow across all social media at Star 94 Atlanta. And if you want to stay up to date with me, you can follow me at It's Me underscore Alyssa so you can get exclusive conversations just like this fun little teasers as to what's coming next in our wonderful city but go ahead and give me a follow at it's me underscore licity i'll see you guys next time